All right, what's up, guys? Locked out men here in the truck for tonight's episode of a podcast for you. Yeah, I am kind of tired because I drove all damn day, all damn day, but still got to get these interviews out for you guys today. Today, well, today's interview comes by way of a young lady from a recruiting firm uh i found her on facebook we chopped it up in the messenger and now we are here we are here hold on wrong button what's up everybody lockout men in the truck on the 30 for this podcast for this evening i'm glad that you guys are here if you like content like this y'all know what to do y'all know what to do right Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, hit that all, hit that like, hit hit everything, damn it, hit everything. All right, so I want you guys to put your hands together for a young lady that's coming on to the podcast this evening. Her name is Ashley, and she is uh, from Supreme Driver Recruiting. What's going on, Ashley? Hey, how you doing? I am doing all right. I'm doing all right. All right. So for the people that don't know who you are, tell the people who you are and where you come from. All right. Um, my name is Ashley Thomas. Born and raised out of Arlington, Texas. Out here in the DFW area. See, that, see <laughs> Texas. You, you guys knew it was going to be Texas, right? You know, shout out to Texas. That's where that's where all the, I get all my love from Texas. So, shout out to Texas. Go ahead and continue, little lady. All right, and uh, our company is Supreme Driver Recruiting. So, um, our our lo- our slogan is providing jobs for the whole block. Um, that's what we're about. So, you know, we're here to to help in the industry. And to uh, keep on pushing, I've owned trucks before, so I, I know how it can be. So, you know, we're just here to help. All right, all right. So, Supreme Driver Recruiting. All right. So let's uh, let's talk about uh, let's let's before we get into before we get into that. How long you been into the uh, how long you been into uh, trucking industry? We've been in the trucking industry five years now. Five years. So, are you a mm-hmm. truck are are you a truck driver yourself? I'm not. Never been. No. Oh, okay. Okay. So, what made you? Uh, what made you get into the? Uh, what made you get into the industry besides driving trucks, which is, which is always good. But what made you get mm-hmm. into get into the industry? You know, I had a, a a crazy friend with a vision. You know, that came to me. I was working at a call center. You know, selling home security. So he comes to me. He tells me, "Hey, let's let's buy a truck." Okay. You know, I don't know shit about trucking. You know, that's just how I was feeling. But he was so hyped and he had so much passion about it that, you know, we just went ahead or or he actually backed out because he didn't have his money. Because when the type of person I am, when the opportunity is knocking and I want to pursue it, I got to go after it right then and there. Okay. Okay. So, you know, we go down there, we, we get the truck. Um, First time dealing with a driver, I hired my driver. The driver steals the truck brand new off the lot. Oh, whoa, stop, stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Hold up, hold up, wait, pop the brakes. You hired the driver. Let me see if I understand this now. You, 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 you brand new, fresh off the block, brand new truck. You hire a driver to drive the truck. Mm-hmm. My, my first question is, the, the the your partner that went in that that went into it with you, uh-huh. he he wasn't he wasn't a driver. No no no! Don't forget he backed out because he didn't have his money when I was ready to go to go on and get the truck. Oh, Put the money down to do it. Oh, you know? okay. And you decide to go ahead and go through with it. Me and my great grandmother, she is eighty eight years old. Oh, yep. shout out to your grandmother. <laughs> so you, so you, you hired this, you hired this driver, to to mm-hmm. come on and drive the truck, but when he went to go and pick it up, 
dude stole, like, literally stole the truck and never. I mean, listen. I'm listening. I found the truck, okay? Uh It was no tires on it. What? (laughs) What what kind of truck was it that you got? What what was the truck? A 2013 Freightliner Cascadia condo. Condo. Detroit 15. DD 15. DD 15. And it yep, and, had and, nothing but three hundred thousand miles on it. I'll never forget it. And <laughs> o- okay, so let let me back up. Where did you find this dude at? Where where did you find this dude to drive the truck? <laughs> I posted, you know, advertising because I'm new to this. Right. You know, it, I was I was fresh. You right. Know? So um, I found him. I think I found him on Indeed or something like that, or ZipRecruiter oh. or something. You okay. know, and I didn't know. Hey, do extensive background checks. You got to check this. You got to check that. You yeah, know? for sure, for sure, yeah, for that sure. Was, that, that was a mess. I, I had paid my dues. I can definitely say that. Okay, so you <laughs> so you found this cat on ZipRecruiter. You gave him the information mm-hmm. to go and get the truck. He went mm-hmm. to go and get the truck. He stole the truck. How how did you manage to find how how did you manage to find the truck without a GPS? The the police found the truck um, in a hood in Dallas, wow. probably about three to four weeks later, with no tires on it. Wow! <laughs> you mean to tell me the hood took the tires? It sounded like that. Uh, sound <laughs> sound like that movie that I was watching where the dude was handcuffed in the. And the natives came and tore that helicopter down. What was the name? I mean, not the helicopter, but the plane. What's the name of that movie? Uh, Lord of War. Lord of War with uh, Nicolas Cage. Yeah, definitely check that out. That's a good movie. But, uh, man, no no tires. So the tires. So was the truck. Let, <laughs> let me ask you this. Was the truck up on cinder blocks? <laughs> well, no. He had actually... Um, took all old tires from, I mean, he had this all planned out. He actually took all, like, I don't know, they look like, uh, what's that, dummy tires or something like that? They look like that. Dummy tires? Wait, dummy dummy tires for a truck? Yeah, it's like he put them on something, but they were really small tires, and they were really, you know, cheap. So, obviously, he had sold those tires. Man, the, the man. new tire. All right, that so was did did you have did you have in, did you have insurance on on the truck when you purchased it? Purchased it? Thank God, absolutely. Oh, okay, so you was able to you was able to get the truck, you know, back up to mm-hmm. back up to running form. Now, what have you learned from that finding the next person to drive the truck? <laughs> That's that's the beauty of it. That's that's how I'm able to get direct contracts now with large carriers that we do the hiring for. So as far as now, you know, we're going to check PSP reports. We're going to check that NVR. We're going to call every, uh, every company within the last three years that they have worked with. We're sending out, you know, um, verifications of employment and asking, you know, previous employers, you know, the questions that we need on 10th Street, you know, stuff like that. So okay. I, I've, I've okay. learned a whole so you, lot now when dealing with drivers. So from, so from the first time that you uh, that you purchased your truck all the way up until now, you 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 good in the game now, right? Well, I, I you know stumbled a couple more times. The truck has been stolen three. The truck was stolen three times. What? You you just now the, saying you you just now saying okay. So the first time was by the dude that you hired. What was the second time? The second time, we hired uh, this, this this guy out of Fort Worth, and um, you know he was referred to us by a friend of the family. So, you know, when I saw his situation, he, you know, they were living at a hotel. You know, I'm I'm the type of person I'm I'm gonna help you. You ride for me, I ride for you. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So I let him put food on the table, all this kind of stuff. So um, he was fucked because our we did oil field work. That's where our trucks were leased on. To. Okay. We did oil field work, and I look on after that. Now I done learned. Now I got a GPS on my phone. Right. So I done look, you know, look up, and he's supposed to be in Sh- in Shreveport, hauling sand. Mm-hmm. And I look up, and this fool is is on Lancaster in Fort Worth. 
And so, it, you know, it, it just kind of went from there. So, but the, I found the truck, all of that. He went to jail, all that stuff. So, so yeah. Th- let me put it like this: all three times that your truck was stolen, <laughs> your your truck was stolen by the by people that you actually hired on to drive the truck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was? Did they? Okay, <laughs> the first person you probably you by the sounds of it, you didn't find. You mentioned the second person went to jail. What happened to the third person? <laughs> well, we didn't catch up with the third person. He just abandoned the truck somewhere. So we didn't catch up with him. But, you know, he took the truck from um, Midland, Odessa, and we look up and he in a whole nother state. Wow. So did so, did yeah. you did you get any inclination from these three guys, the reason why they did what they did? I mean. No, absolutely it, not. I mean, could it, couldn't it couldn't have been that you was, like, short-paying them or something like that, and they just did that because no. they was mad or something? No, absolutely not. The first person didn't even go to work, so I sure couldn't have shortcut him. Wow. So, <laughs> he didn't so, even go to work. So for the last two drivers that, that did that to you, how long they was working for you before the incident? One for, uh, one for a day. And the second person, he was working. He had to be working for about a week, I say, about a week. And, and the second person is what hurt me so bad because I put food on the on the table for you and your children and okay. provided a hotel for you and your kids. You know, so that was kind of personal. Okay. The second one, but so it is what it is. How <laughs> now? I'm I'm sure these guys hurt you, uh, business wise. So doing, you know, uh, doing that little time that you was, you was like a startup, like, you know, getting it together. Yeah. Not only that they messed you, messed you up personally, but did that affect mm-hmm. some of the, some of the, uh, some of the uh, contracts that you, that you had? It, you know, it, it did, but it was a, it was a blessing. And I'm going to tell you how. The oil field company that um, our truck was leased onto, me and my mm-hmm. grandmother's truck, mm-hmm. was leased onto, they would see what I was going through. And right. then they would ask me, and, but I would have a driver back in it almost the next day. Okay, see by way, by way of the company that helped, that, that you was leased onto. Right. So I would have, you know, as an owner operator, which I don't operate, but as a small business owner and owner operator, I would, um, if the driver quit on me, that truck's not, my truck would not sit for over two days. Okay. And the oil field company, the owner came to me and he's like, Hey, I, I noticed cause we, he said that they have a lot of owner operators that, you know, they lose their driver and their truck is sitting for three to four weeks or a month or two months or whatever. And, and the owner said, Hey, we have, you know, trucks that sit, sit, sit. How are you? able to do what you do how can you get drivers back in your truck so fast so he hired me and um i <clears throat> kept his whole fleet filled up 100 trucks kept his fleet full okay so do and you so, still do you still have the truck i mean the, the truck oh, should no the truck I, should I be the, the truck should be somewhere on a pedestal right now like <laughs> you know how you, you know how how we put like pictures of where we came from to where we at now, your truck should be on, your truck should be somewhere on a pedestal right now. Like this is what happened. So you sold the truck, right? Oh yeah. I'm, I'm done. I, I don't have time for it. Now the call center is, is booming and we're, um, we just got a partnership contract with the city of Fort Worth and things a lot of things are, are happening. All right. We'll, we'll get we'll, we'll, we'll get in we'll 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 get into uh we'll get into Supreme in a second. We'll we'll get into yeah. Supreme in a second. So how long all right, so so <laughs> you say you've been in the industry for five years. So what what you was what were you doing uh since after after the trucking inter- incident? You sound like you got on and st- and was a dispatcher for for the owner operators no 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 i would just uh i was a recruiter for that oil field company oh okay okay so yeah. you so you well, was what so, so 
So you was with them for how long? You how long you was with them for? I was with them for a few years. Oh, okay, okay. After, after the truck, yeah, I was with them for a few years. Um, so altogether, it's been five years since I started mess, dipping and dabbing in the trucking industry. Okay, so what is, that's what I'm trying to get at. What is, so other than that one company starting your trucking company and being a recruiter for the other company, where were you before you started? Uh, before you started Supreme, like uh, in the middle. I in, the, in, the, in the middle. Yeah. I just I would have people call me. I don't know how my name spread like wildfire mm-hmm. in West Texas about me able to you know, get truck drivers into good companies and get them in the trucks and stuff like that. So I just had my little side business. I had um, people calling for truck drivers, and I would just do that and still recruit for the oil field company after I let the trucks go. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Now, my next question mm-hmm. is, what what were you doing before you got into the industry? Um, fell into home security for four years over the phone. Oh, okay. What for like gar uh for like uh A A D T A what is it's, it? ADT? It's ADT's competition, monotronic, yep. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So um so at that time what what was your influence to get in to, to get into the industry? What, what, other than other than the guy coming to you with the idea. Was there anything well, I fell was there with, anything I fell else? In love with oil. Mm-hmm. I, I fell in love with oil field. I did. I fell in love with it. I met some, some really, really, really great people. And I think it's awesome if you surround yourself with people that are more valuable than you, that can add value right. to your life. Exactly. And exactly. Um, I deal with a billionaire. He has the keys to West Texas. He's been a great mentor for me, and he's also held my hand. So, um and I'll be working with him on, on some big things, too, coming up as well. But I just fell in love with the industry. And I've never driven a truck, but I fell in love with the, with the industry. Do you, do, do, you have, do you have aspirations of, of driving a truck? Do you have any interest no. of driving a truck? Nope. Oh, okay. So you say you don't want to you, you be in it, but you don't want to drive it. But let me ask you right. this. I want to. Right. Let me mm-hmm. ask you this. Now, being that you're not a driver, uh, being that you're not a driver and you never drove, how did you manage to familiar familiarize yourself with what truck drivers go through on a daily basis without driving the truck? Well, I have went down to uh, well sites and went down to um i had my truck at a fuel company as well called upt that was local Mm -hmm. um so i get involved with who was working with me i get involved i want to be in the truck with you i want to see what's going on i want to see how your daily schedule is i want to see how you unload sand in the pneumatic i want to see how the fourth lift takes the sandbox off the pneumatic and i want to see all of that so that's how I was able to kind of see what was really going on. Have you uh have you ridden have you ridden inside of a truck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So with those drivers that worked on those different uh lease contracts that I had, I have ridden with all of them. Okay, okay. To actually okay. see what, what their day is like and what goes on. Okay, that's what's that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, sh- well, congratulations to you, man. I mean, not too many, not too many recruiters, you know. Now I I taught you're like maybe the third one that I talked to that you know that does the independent recruiting, but for like the recruiters <laughs> at these big mega carriers and 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 care and other carriers have no idea. They they don't have mm-hmm. they don't have no idea of 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 what the life of a truck driver is like. They they sit there right. and they got like a little piece of paper that they reading off what the company can offer. But you're coming mm-hmm. in you you coming in off the flip side like yo I've been there I seen it I know what you guys mm-hmm. do I know what you guys are looking for. So yeah definitely yo I I commend you I commend you for mm-hmm. that man. Thank um you. and you say you've been doing this you you've been in the game for five years right yes that's correct 
All right, all right. All right, well, let's get into the let's get into this company, uh, Supreme. There it is. There it is. Supreme Driver Recruiting. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. So go ahead and uh, talk about your company. What what do you what do you offer these drivers out here? Well, the drivers they can call, and uh, <clears throat> we don't just tell them, "Hey, we got this position, we have that position." No, nah, that's that's not what it's about. Um, what we're about is we let the driver tell us what he wants, and then we accommodate him from there and give him the option of what we have available that matches his criteria of what he needs. All right, so you know, so you know the three most you you know the three most important things to a truck driver, right? Come on, I know you're about to give him to me. Well, you know the three <laughs> most important things is money, home time, and miles. Yep, absolutely. So that's so that, you know if a driver comes to you and say that he wants you know that's what's important to you, you guys, in entails will find these companies for them that a that a be mm-hmm. a good fit. Yep, and we take nothing from the driver. We make sure the driver gets his full sign-on bonus, full benefits, the home time um, that that he wants, and we hold his hand from the time he calls the phone until he. Um, you know, gets on the plane and lands and gets in his Uber and gets his, to his hotel. We talk to them and accommodate and execute all the way up to their first load. Okay, that's what's up. So what uh, so what companies you guys work with? Uh, right now, we work with uh, PNS Transportation. That's our flatbed company. Uh, we work with Clark Transfer. That's our company we send our owner operators to. They have contracts with nascar nba nfl you know they only specialize in show business um we also work with jane r Schrugel. we work with wait US stop Express. stop stop back up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you said j and r Schrugel. yeah we work with them because you have to understand no, 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 hold up now, hold up now, I wonder why I'm saying J and R Swoogle, is because I'm a former driver of J and R Swoogle. Okay, cool, cool. That's, that's. You know we have to put some, our second chance driver somewhere, and I want options for, for all drivers. Yeah, I, I, um, I was a dri- I was a driver recruiter for them. So definitely, if you go to my channel, oh, wow. if you go to my channel and type in J and R Schwugel, ninety percent, ninety percent of the videos f- are from me and J and R Schwugel. So, so yeah, oh, wow. Cool. So you said, uh, so you said second. Ch- so, so being that you mentioned that about uh giving uh drivers a second chance, I didn't realize J and R Schwugel was a second chance company. Yep, they will. Um, I can get people in over there with felonies and recent misdemeanors and stuff like that. So they they work with us. Okay, okay. So would you, so so you will be you you will be a good a good company to call if a if a driver has a felony and yeah, is exactly. he, he's having a hard time uh, trying to get in with these trucking companies because of it. Mm-hmm. We're gonna work with them till we find them. Huh? Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Driver Supreme Recruiting. You know, a lot of a lot of dri- a lot of uh, a lot of felons that's you know that's coming out or that has past you know that got past priors and stuff like that. You know, that's the first question that when they come in the Facebook group, that's the first thing they always ask: What companies? Mm-hmm. What companies are felon friendly? So. Mm-hmm. So you're able to uh, you're able to contact uh, con- uh, contact uh, J and R Schwugel and say, hey, I got this driver right here. Uh, his background is a little skimmish, but he's okay. Yeah, we'll put his app- we'll, one of the recruiters will put his application in, and then we'll just attach a note and to let them know, hey, this driver has this or, or whatever, and they'll work with us. Okay. Okay. So I think that's good to have second chance companies because I don't want to turn anybody down. You know, if we can help, let us help. Okay. Supreme driver recruiting. How now? How long? How long this? How long you been doing this? How long this been going on? 
Supreme will be two year. Our two year anniversary will be in June, I believe. Okay. So you run. So do you run this by yourself, or do you have uh, do you, do you have uh, a a a couple of people, one person? No, no business partners. So this is this is all you by yourself. This is all me. Um, I am going to hire a VP though. Um, we want to offer. Well, it's it's already in the process, but it won't launch until probably June. But we want to offer small fleets, maybe fleets of five, ten, you know, minimum five. But we want to offer those people a service to get their own direct MSA, their master service agreements, their own direct contract, get their help <clears throat> if they have their authority, obviously, and to cut out the middle people that you know taking twenty five to twenty seven percent from them. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, definitely shout out to you for uh for putting this uh so for putting this together. You're located so everything is located out of out of the out of the uh Texas area, right? So do you get so uh -huh. do you get so can you recruit for guys that's like that stays in Florida uh stay yeah, in them hard to hire states? Can can you do something for them? Absolutely. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so Supreme Driver Recruiting, man, and this is uh this is a young lady that's been that's been doing it. She went through the <laughs> went through the hells of uh <laughs> of uh of trucking to get where she at right now. You guys want to check out uh check out the website, which is Supreme Driver Recruiting. The phone number eight one seven nine zero zero six five nine two all right so for for people to try to try to get an understanding on 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 a person's hustle and a person mm -hmm. grind and, and 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 you know just to get to know you a little better i got some uh mm -hmm. i got some i got a few this or that questions for you right quick you ready okay all I'm right ready. So, come on all right so check it out sleep hot or cold? Mm -hmm. Sleep. Say, say that again. Wet, hot, or cold? Sleep hot or sleep cold? I don't know. <laughs> Cash, <laughs> Cash or... <laughs> she said she don't know. Cash or card? Okay, let's say cold. No, no. Oh, you. Oh, okay. So for the sleep question, you going cold, right? Mm hmm. All mm -hmm. right. Cash or card? Card. Card. Ice cream cone or waffle? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's say waffles. Waffle. Ice cream scoop mm -hmm. or shake? Scoop. All right. McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's, I think. McDonald's. What do, mm -hmm. what do you get from McDonald's? The breakfast or 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 the burgers? I like they hash brown and they fries, so I'll, you know. You'll, you'll mess with that. All right. Mm -hmm. Mar All right. Mary J. Blige or Faith Evans? Mary J. All day. Mary J all day, yeah. No, uh -huh. no faith yet, man. Come on, faith. I I need you. I need you to come up, faith, because Mary J Blige for the last this or that questions is knocking it out the park. Chicken or chicken, uh -huh. chicken or beef. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Prince or Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, Michael Jackson, yeah, because he got you some. You gonna hits. ride with that? You gonna ride with that pretty young thing? Okay, okay, that's what's up. <laughs> Apples or oranges? Oranges. All right, so you being from the South, somebody mm -hmm. asks you, you want a drink? What do you say, pop mm -hmm. or soda? <laughs> Liquor. <laughs> 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 you said liquor. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna say soda. Soda? All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Netflix and chill or Hulu and cool? Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, my girl say. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. That was that was that was that was crazy. That was crazy. All right, all right. Well, Ashley, Ashley from uh, from Supreme Driver Recruiting. Uh, she's an independent recruiter out here. Uh, she's definitely the one to come to if you you know you have some issues in the past and you're having a hard time of getting into the, uh, you know, getting into the trucking industry, definitely give this young lady a call. Where can they, other than the website, uh, where else can they find you at? <clears throat> they can find me on Google, Facebook, Instagram. All right, hold on right quick. You say Google, Facebook. Facebook, Instagram. What's and what's what? the uh what's the Instagram? I'm about to I'm about to bring that up now. All right. IG. It's Supreme It's Supreme Driver Recruiting. Now we just I just got my IT check on that, so I, I think it's only like a couple of pictures on there, but we getting it together. All right. Actually I can't find it. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> she said Supreme Driver Recruiting on Instagram. Definitely check out the mm -hmm. website, which is this right here is uh, Supreme Driver Recruiting, Supreme Driver Recruiting dot com and definitely Supreme Driver Recruiting in the Facebook. Well, mm -hmm. Ashley, thank you very much for sh uh, showing some love and and uh, and giving giving drivers an extra, you know, extra opportunities to uh, to uh, have you to work for them. What what as far as, as far as the drivers go? What what are you looking for in drivers when they when they call you up to uh, look for look for an opportunity through you? Uh, they can come to me just just have a CDL and come on. Well, we'll actually be having um, but it's only for the city of Fort Worth. So people with and I'm gonna try to get some more contracts with different cities and stuff like that, but. What um, what's happening is we'll be partnering. It'll be launching. Um, it'll be launching at the beginning of March. So the city of Fort Worth wants to all the drivers that come to me because we get a lot of uh, we get a lot of calls from people that want to drive but don't have their CDL. Okay. So we get a lot of calls about that. So what the city wants to do is get behind Supreme Driver Recruiting and uh, help all the people that qualify. You know, obviously they have to have low income, all that kind of stuff, but right. they'll, they're they willing to put $4,000 behind this person for them to get certifications, endorsements, or their Class A CDL. Okay, that's what's up. Shout out to the city of Fort Worth. All right, so as far yeah, as lo as far as looking for these drivers, because you did mention it in the beginning, but now mm -hmm. but now you're, you're doing your due diligence to make sure that the driver is qualified. What are you doing to to make sure that they are qualified? Well, each, each uh, company that we work with, we obviously have different interview questions, you know what I mean? But, you know, they, they can't murder, they have murdered somebody a year ago, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But we're having, uh, the qualifications are just based on which company they want to go to. You know, some, some companies don't want drivers that's under 25. Some don't want, some that are under 23 so we have to ask these interview questions to see what's the best option for them but what i'm I, that what i'm saying is what are you what do you do to to check the back do, do you do you yourself check the background or the company that you that you sending both. them to do the background both oh okay okay what do you do to check the background what's the process well, before, everything is Everything is really on, on 10th Street, through 10th Street. You know, we have to pull up their PSP report. We have to pull up their MBR. 
Um, we have to do a, a background check on for criminal activity and, and all that kind of stuff. And then we have to check those references as well, the companies that they've driven for to make sure that they they haven't just last week abandoned somebody's truck. Okay. Now let me ask you this. So that, Being yeah. that you just you you just mentioned you you just mentioned that. Let me ask you this right uh -huh. quick. Okay. What because a lot of drivers have asked this question. Okay. What if Okay, so here's a scenario for you. I got a scenario for you. So I work for this company and okay. I decided to leave the company. Mm -hmm. The company told me to leave their truck you know at the truck stop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i leave the truck at <laughs> I, I leave the truck at the truck stop i go on about my business but then when i apply for another company they put an abandonment on my truck i mean on my mm -hmm. on my dac report how mm -hmm. can i how can i go by disputing that you know what i don't believe there is a way cuz i haven't found it out yet I don't believe there is a way, and I think that that's, and this is why I have, you know, owner operators or small fleet owners and stuff like that that will take people who have been in that situation. You know, they're they're a little bit more lenient on that kind of stuff because there's a fleet of five or a fleet of ten. But you know what? I don't think that there is a way that you can defeat that. I don't. And I've had a lot of drivers say that to me. The exact thing of what you just said. They parked it at the truck yard or at the uh, truck stop and and the companies just, you know, want to ruin their reputations where they can't get a, a job at another major carrier at that time within the, the next two to three years. So I, I had a lot of drivers that said that in the Facebook group that said it to me personally and, and mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's crazy that some of these companies, you know, mega carriers, does this to a driver mm -hmm. they put them in a precarious situation like if a driver if if the relationship between the company and the driver is has sour to the point of no return the only thing that's mm -hmm. on the driver's mind is like look let me just go ahead and bring this truck back i'm done pulling for you i want to bring this truck back and we and be done some companies mm -hmm some companies put them in like a headlock like yo if you don't pull mm -hmm. our freight back to the yard or whatever you know we're gonna we, we're gonna call the cops on you because you driving you you driving an unauthorized truck you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying so now yep. you have to you you have to make the decision yourself like yo leave it take it back or go to jail Mm -hmm. those, those the options so that's why I, that's why i tell you guys like look if if it sours to the point of no return look just 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 don't don't let them know how you feel don't yeah. don't don't let them know how you feel just just get just get the load just tell them look i i need to be routed back to the yard man uh i i, I gotta go home or family emergency or whatever don't tell them that number one don't tell them that you're quitting because if you tell them that you're quitting they gonna they gonna they gonna mess you up that way you know yeah right. they're gonna mess you right. up that way and and don't tell them that uh you know don't tell them don't be transparent with them just be like look i got a family emergency back at home i need to get home but first let me bring the truck back to the, you know, just route me back to the, uh, route me back yep. to the, uh, to the terminal or to the yard and I'll find a way home. Just like that. Yeah. Y'all don't have to, y'all don't have to worry about it. Now, once the truck is dropped back, you can hand them the keys on the sly, hand them the keys mm -hmm. on the sly. And then when you get home, obviously they'll figure out that you're not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> They'll figure it out. So exactly. the truck is all, their equipment is already back, and their keys is already in their hand. So mm -hmm. you're pretty good. So do 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 that. Take take my advice. Do it that way. <laughs> all right, Ashley, yo, I appreciate you coming on tonight. Thank you very much for sharing, uh, sharing driver's 
uh, so I'm a driver, Supreme Driver Recruiting. As I said before, guys, you guys want to check her out. She's on uh, at SupremeDriverRecruiting.com. Uh, she's in the Facebook groups. Um, she's uh, and she's on IG. She's on IG. And by the way, let me, as y'all can see in the bumper right here, as you can see in the bumper right here. It's a it's it's a female that's doing the damn thing, and that's what I like. We need more. <laughs> we need more. You feel me? We need more. All right, Ashley. Again, thank you for coming on. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you have any, if you have any, um, if you have anything that you know, if you want to come back and share some other things with me, definitely you most welcome to come back. If you want to promote, uh, you know. You say you got it coming down a pipeline, right? In what June, July? <clears throat> uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you want to come back to me and uh, you want to get that get the word out, definitely uh, give me a call and I'll I'll be on I'll be on to do that for you. All right. Thank you for having me. Everyone have a great night and keep keep pushing. All right, for sure. Ashley from Drivers of Driver. I keep saying Driver. Supreme Driver Recruiting. All right, guys. I hope you guys appreciate that call. If y'all interested, especially y'all new jacks that's coming into the game, some of you veterans that's in the game, some uh, some drivers that just need that just need a chance or a second chance. Definitely check her out. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell, and click that all for all content like this. Me. I am lockout men. Her, that is Ashley. Guys, y'all take it easy. I appreciate you guys watching. And don't forget the coffee. I'm about to go and get me some coffee. But I, I need somebody to hook me up with some coffee. I know I haven't said that in a while. I know I haven't said that. Hook me up with some coffee. All right? You guys have a blessed night. And I'll come back at y'all with another video. Peace. <coughs> All right, that's it. All right. That was cool. All right, I liked that. All right, we're done. We are done. <laughs> <laughs>